So we haven't seen any public opinion polls out of Ohio, at least I haven't. I know that both campaigns have internal polling that they do, but either way, what's evident is that Chantel Brown, the incumbent who's running against Nina Turner, who is primarying her, she's got to be afraid because the super PAC who supports her, which is bankrolled by an oil mogul, is spending lots and lots of money to defeat Nina Turner. So even though we don't necessarily know where they're at with regard to numbers, this is kind of a sign that perhaps Chantel Brown is a little bit more worried than she's leading on. So The Lever has a really interesting report about how much money is being sunk into this campaign recently, just at the last minute before the May 3rd primary. So as Andrew Perez of The Lever explains, one month after Samson Energy mogul Stacey Schusterman poured $2 million into DMFI PAC, the group purchased TV ads starting Monday to boost Representative Chantel Brown in her primary campaign rematch against former Ohio State Senator Nina Turner in a newly redrawn Cleveland congressional district. The primary election date is May 3rd. Last year, DMFI PAC spent $1.8 nine million dollars attacking turner and promoting brown helping the latter win the seat in a special election the group also spent 1.4 million dollars attacking sanders during his 2020 campaign turner who co-chaired senator bernie sanders 2020 presidential campaign has been campaigning for a green new deal and pressing the biden administration to ban fracking brown has declined to co-sponsor some of the house democrats most high-profile climate legislation including the climate emergency act even after united nations scientists recent dire warning about the crisis. While Brown's campaign website says she supports the principles laid out in the Green New Deal, she has not co-sponsored the measure in Congress. Schusterman chairs Oklahoma-based Samson Energy, whose website describes it as a company that was formed to allow the Schusterman family to remain in the oil and gas exploration and production business following their sale of Samson Investment Company in 2011. The company has been one of the country's per-well emitters of greenhouse gas emissions. Hmm, very interesting. I wonder why an oil mogul would spend so much for own money to keep Chantel Brown in Congress. This is a Democrat that we're talking about here. This is not a Republican that we're talking about here. This is a Democrat and an oil mogul is spending millions and millions of dollars to keep Chantel Brown in Congress. That should tell you a lot about Chantel Brown, right? That oil mogul fought to get Chantel Brown this seat and Chantel Brown is delivering when it comes to policy. This is what corruption looks like. It might be legal corruption, legalized bribes effectively, but it's still corruption nonetheless. And, you know, this oil mogul is invested in this race because Chantel Brown has proven that she is loyal to said oil mogul. Now, I'm not sure why DMFI even calls itself DMFI. They might as well call it the Schuster Pack because this is a super pack that is largely bankrolled by this one oil mogul. And this is Democratic majority for Israel. This is a Democratic Party super PAC taking money from an oil mogul. You think that any uh, organization at all, even if it's a super PAC, like these are inherently corrupt organizations, right? But you think that any organization associated with Democrats would reject oil mogul money. You'd think that the Democratic Party would view this as taboo and, you know, call on uh, this, this super PAC to denounce and reject these donations, but they're not doing that. It's just, it's truly gross. And it goes to show you who would be the real fighter for climate change. It's not Chantel Brown, it's Nina Turner. Because Nina Turner actually supports a Green New Deal and supports any legislation, even the milk toast legislation that the Democrats are proposing to move us closer in the right direction, just simply declaring climate change an emergency. I mean, as you've seen from the article, Chantel Brown won't even support the bare minimum. It's it's gross, but now you know the price tag of Chantel Brown. Perhaps if the uh, climate change mitigation groups like the renewable energy sector formed a powerful enough lobby, all they have to do to buy Chantel Brown's loyalty is outspend this oil mogul. So you know the price tag. It's a million dollars, about $2 million. And then you could just buy her back in the other direction. But see, what's great about Nina Turner is she can't be bought. And her campaign manager released a statement explaining that and explaining why this pay-to-play practice is so damaging to our democracy. They released a statement following this news saying the reason special interests are committed to this election is because Chantel Brown relies on their money to stay in power. She has already demonstrated that she will do their bidding and proven she is more than willing to mislead the people of greater Cleveland. They go on to explain, sadly, right here in Ohio 11, those same corrupt interests are pumping money into campaigns and super PACs because they know Nina Turner and progressives like her aren't going to Washington to be a partner with them. Let's 
be clear, those corporate interests don't make donations. They make investments and they expect a return on those investments. And the reason why they're so committed to keeping Chantel Brown in power is because their investment is paying off. It's, it's bearing fruit. She's doing their bidding. And it, it, again, I've got to go back to what happened last week, how the Congressional Progressive Caucus endorsed Chantel Brown over Nina Turner. Chantel Brown is a member of the New Democrat Coalition, which is a corporate wing of the party. They form their own little uh, caucus. She's part of the Centrist Caucus and the Progressive Caucus simultaneously. And the Congressional Progressive Caucus, because they have no standards, they accepted her. And then now they endorsed her because they want to protect their incumbents as caucuses do. It's just, it's, it's a joke. It's a joke. And this is why so many people feel discouraged and demoralized and why they tune out of politics altogether and just stop voting because things like this happen, right? It feels really like an insurmountable obstacle to get progressives elected because you send in $5 and then one oil mogul sends in like a million dollars or $2 million. And even the one caucus in Congress who in theory should be helping to expand the progressive coalition is now just a bunch of useful idiots, I guess, for corporate Democrats and their donors like the fossil fuel industry and oil moguls. So it's, it's ridiculous. I mean, it's either we take drastic action or we all go extinct. The planet becomes uninhabitable. But yet, oil moguls are still funding these campaigns of Democrats who are supposed to be the party that fights to stop climate change. And they accept the money. Chantal Brown accepts that money. If she had any integrity, if she actually was a progressive, she would reject money from the DFI, DMFI PAC. She would say, I don't want that money because it's tainted from an oil mogul who wants me to fight for our planet's destruction. But she's taking that money because she's a useful idiot for the industry. She's a useful idiot for all special interests who fund her campaign. And it's morally reprehensible, but without that money, she doesn't have a career in Congress. And that's all she cares about. She doesn't care about policy. She cares about her career. And Nina Turner is the opposite. She rejects money from special interests. And because of that, she's essentially crippling her own campaign it makes it a lot more difficult to get elected but by rejecting that money you send a message to constituents in ohio 11 that you're not going to be there to play games to do the bidding of oil moguls and special interests you're there to fight for the people uncorrupted unbought that's who you should be voting for so i mean if the people in ohio's 11th district vote for Chantel brown then it's clear that big money won yet again because if they see the differences between Chantel Brown and Nina Turner, it's evident that one of them is a bullshitter and one of them actually cares about policy issues. But big money can drown out good messages of good candidates like Nina Turner. So, you know, it's evident that they're spending this money because they feel as if they have to. But still, the fact that they're doing this goes to show you that Nina Turner is a threat. And that's all the more reason why you should support her. So if you can chip in a buck or two, or support Nina Turner by phone banking for her or canvassing for her, definitely do that because she's someone who actually cares about policy issues and not just her own career.